Quarantine is coming. Where's Where your boyfriend? boyfriend? My channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers so guys please just 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 press the button press the button if you've not pressed it. how can you come here every week every other week you are watching the videos you're enjoying but you you have not subscribed so you yes you you right now I'm looking at you you bruv press the button Subscribe to the channel, you're not going to lose anything. And also share with other people because this is a great time to binge watch my content. Because we're inside, we're all inside. And it's bingeable content. So please subscribe and share with other people. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers. So I wanted to post a video about how coronavirus almost had me homeless in a foreign country. No jokes. It was going to be a story time. But I've posted two weeks of corona content and I decided that, eh, you know what, maybe it's time that we get a break from this whole corona thing since we can't get a break from it in real life. And because I made this decision so last minute, I then decided to go back and use one of my videos from the past where um, I vlogged myself having this experience and stuff like that. But I just want to say that this is a true testament of growth or to growth because I did this video in my early days of YouTube and wow, guys, the ghetto, the ghetto. You know how I was recording B-roll? This is how. This is my phone. This is me with my phone. So obviously when it's time to edit, you don't have anything to work with if this thing is just moving like this the whole time. And also I felt like the best kind of editing for B-roll is fast forwarding everything. Like everything must just be quick. And then you can't even see anything. So if you want to see my growth, watch my travel vlogs because my vlogging has definitely gotten better. So it's Corona season. You know that Corey's in the house. And so we have to stay in the house as well because Corey said so. March has been one heck of a long year. Okay. But it's April. Happy April. God bless your April. God bless this new month. May this month be good. Be who. Be filled with blessings and nice things and, and hopefully relief from this whole corona thing. But speaking of Corey in the house and us being in the house, I have one question. I got one question for you. One question. Quarantine is coming. Where's, Where's your boyfriend? boyfriend? Where's your girlfriend? You are sitting at home. Lonely. Time is coming. Where's your boyfriend? <laughs> you are sitting at home. Lonely. Time is coming. Except I'm like Valentine's Day. It's not a one day thing, bro. It's a 21 day thing. It's a multiple day thing. Where's your boyfriend? Where's your girlfriend? Where's your husband? Where's your wife? Look at you. See your life? See your life. What's good? <laughs> wow. I laugh like a politician. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, guys. So I just come from church, right? Today's Sunday. And um, can you see me nicely? The sun will be in my face if I stand like this. And then I'm just like freaking sweating. Don't turn around. So, but can you see me though? I'm not sure. I mean, I think you can. Maybe like, it's a weird. It's fine like this, but stay here. Anyway, I just come from church and uh, today I'm going to be meeting up with this girl that I actually met on Instagram, Diamond Benita. What is with you on Instagram, people? Well, freaking hell, I don't know. Anyway, so there's this girl that I met on Instagram and she's South African and she lives in New York. So she hit me up and she was like, you know what, let's have some coffee. I'm coming to Bethlehem to get a tattoo and you know what, let's link up. And I was like, well why the hell not so i'm gonna go meet up with her right now after she gets her tattoo and we're gonna see basically where the day takes us so let's go guys okay guys i think i might have found the place i'm just looking at something that says south side inc not sure oh wait okay i think i'm here i think i'm here where is the entrance Me 
Why, why I'm taking a video. That's why I'm asking the email account. So they don't think I should get a tattoo. Everyone is basically fighting me. They're like, no, I don't get a tattoo. I'm telling you, think long and hard because it needs to matter. Otherwise, you're going to regret it. I'll get Neil with a star. What do you think? Like, do you think I shouldn't do it, Daniel? That was in English, right? Because I don't know. Maybe it's just because I am. I just feel like it. Um, I didn't know what to expect. But. It wasn't that painful? It wasn't that painful. Like, it wasn't like unbearable kind of pain. Guys, first of all, they're all South African. <laughs> And they all just decided that today they're gonna get tatted up. That's all we're about. We drove all traveled all the way from Maryland. Yes. From Maryland, which is like it's like three yeah, hours away. Hours, yeah. yeah, and oh then God. to come to Pennsylvania to come and do our tattoo because um there's a the best spot in Pennsylvania. Jackie. Jackie from? I'm from uh, South Africa. Mm -hmm. Currently, before I came here, I was living in Joburg, but I grew up in Woodbank in Malachi. Wow. Yeah. And then are you also appearing? I am, yeah. And oh, my name. Yeah. My name is the most beautiful name in the world. Yeah. My Hello. name is Vivian. And I am from Johannesburg. Like, this is a bit preoccupied right now. Hi, I'm Zaylene. Um, born in Port Elizabeth, moved to Cape Town, and ha I'm in love with my tattoo. Okay. Uh -huh. And what inspired your tattoo? Well, um, an eagle has always been like a thing in my family, mm -hmm. um, and my surname Arnold means eagle. That weekend is my most memorable weekend when we went to New Jersey as an actor. I can't describe the feelings that were happening inside of my heart. I, I really can't. It was like... Cool. <laughs> What's that coming? Where's that coming? I don't know. Why not boy? Hi! Kuba, 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 Kuba. More girl. Huh? Finish up. Can I'm a white man. Like, you say you don't like white men. So, we will celebrate. Okay guys, so we are at the what's it called again? Just stop. Bacon Fest, I think. We are at the Bacon Festival. We're gonna look for some uh, bacon ice cream. Bacon ice cream. So yeah. From Hello here. everyone. Yes, I am wow. now stealing. Can can I? Uh, I'm no, now because the lot. sun is here, Jackie. So they're taking pictures there. Now I look a bit like a hobo, but it's and okay. I'm also here. I my my face has had enough of the day. So anyway, guys, ne, this is a vlog. This is a vlog for the vlogger. I'm not a vlogger. I'm a vlogger. <laughs> First time in Pennsylvania, and I'm so excited to be spending the day with these people over here. And I'm learning how to use um, Benita's camera. And it looks so cute, and I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna take this chance, eh? Take this chance. Take this chance and take a video, okay? No, 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 let's talk. When she first started using this camera, let me tell you guys, this no! camera had no, 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 no. Why do no. you need to be that no, girl? We need, this camera has this thing so you can look at yourself while you're vlogging. Sis was vlogging with the thing facing the haters other way. Haters gonna be like, haters. Yeah, I love this camera and I was like, babe, um, like, uh, do you... Haters gonna be haters. Don't. It's okay. Yeah. We're over that now because now I know, right? Now you know. Now You're I a better know. person now. Oh, look at us, Miguel. See the girl. Yeah, 
Getting a little bit of ice cream, so we're going to get some ice cream. Okay, we're at the ice cream shop and we're going to get some ice cream. So, guys, look who I ran to. We ran into actually. Literally, I just um, so yeah, look here in the show. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. <laughs> Literally, I walked into the ice cream shop and I just saw Nicole's face and I was like, what? By the way, we actually got something called a bacon ice cream and I didn't buy it, but the people I was with bought it and I tasted it and it was horrible. It was disgusting. It was gross. It was not okay. It was not for human con consumption, okay? It was not okay. And there's a part of me, right, that loves trying new things. Like, if you know me, you know that I only drink Fanta Orange. Honestly, when I'm... When I go out to restaurants, I, I only drink Fanta Orange or water. When I try to be different, I get passion fruit and lemonade. Yo, guys, of course, when, when I'm trying to vlog, what are they doing outside? Why is this? Is that Corona? Is that you? Is that what Corona sounds like? Anyway, back to this. So, there's a part of me that wants to try new things. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just let them drive away. Thank you. There's a part of me that wants to try new things, but listen to this though. I hate spending money unnecessarily. I hate spending money in general. And so now imagine spending money to try something new and something new sucks, something new sucks. So now this thing ate my money and it's something that I myself cannot eat. I cannot eat. Now my money's gone. Like I hate, spending money on things and then i don't like it especially with like food and drinks guys you know how disappointing it is to spend money on something to eat and it sucks and you're hungry now what what must happen now hmm what must happen you're not gonna get your money back so what are you gonna do what are you gonna do anyway the point i'm trying to make is that it's a no for me from the whole you know bacon ice cream thing is disgusting Bacon is not for everything, it's not for us. So guys, we're gonna check out this thrift store quickly. I've really been wanting to go to the thrift store, so I'm excited to see what they have inside here. So this is what the outside of the store looks like. This is Second Base Vintage, a vintage and consignment shop. So we hold items from 80s, 90s, early 2000s, a lot of cool stuff in here. So, like I said, this video was recorded way back when, and I know that I didn't really show this vintage store to maximum capacity because it's honestly an amazing place. So please comment down below if you guys want me to go back to this place and get a proper vlog, like give it a whole vlog of the store showing you what they have maybe trying on some things and stuff like that so like for those who love thrifting and vintage stuff and whatnot comment down below let me know and i promise when corona is gone and we can go outside when outside is open again i will go back and i will get this vlog that's if it's before i go back to sa otherwise when i come back to america again i i will do this video for you guys just comment down below and let me know so guys, as you can see, I'm back in my room. They dropped me back off and the day's over. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. I'm so tired, hey? Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys.